Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Gift Sense 92, giving you guys the latest and exclusive content on new music, entertainment news, and inspirational quotes by me, the Queen. I'm back at it again with a brand new episode of the song review of the day. So let's get right into it. So um, I'm going to review this singer. Her name is Anais. Um, the song is called One Night featuring Wiz Khalifa. I just got finished listening to the record. Um, overall, I think the record is cute for what it is. Um, I dig it. Um, the production, you know, it is what it is. It's pretty much like that slow tempo. And it does have a little bit of like, you know, flair to it. Because as I'm hearing the record with the production, it's kind of slow. But it does give you a little bit of a kick. But I think this record suits well for this singer, Anais. I'm not familiar with her music. But she is talented. She can sing. You know, so she's doing her thing. Um, the record is dope for what it is. Um, Wiz Khalifa, um, he's an underrated rapper and lyricist. I've been following him for a while too. He makes pretty good and dope and catchy songs. And I like that, you know, Wiz Khalifa, he's adding his own flavor and twang to this record. And I like the chemistry because it does have more of like that like vibe, you know, neck and neck. But this song right here, One Night, is basically like a sensual song. So she's expressing herself as a woman, her sexuality, which is cool. Same thing with Khalifa. Um, I think this song right here is pretty much like when I hear pretty much that slow pattern. I think she sampled it. I think they had sampled the song like Genuine um, Pony. But I do hear a little bit of like the kind of a little bit like bits and pieces of Gene Wine's like pony but I do hear a little bit like that you know just the bridge and just like that I don't know it does give me a little bit of umph but I think that in terms of the production and how to flow the song and how the content of it it is what it is and I do appreciate like I said her lane in music I mean there is room for female artists so I do not you know like I said I don't come on my platform bashing these up-and-coming artists because there is room for everyone I think everyone has a lane so like I said I think Anais you know she's heading in the right direction but I also think that you know her music I think was missing a little bit and this is constructive criticism the song can add more of like a little bit of an up-tempo because when I was hearing the whole entire song I kind of think that the production could have been a little bit better now this is my opinion. I'm not hating on the record. I'm not, you know, bashing on it. But I think that constructive criticism, I, I feel like it's just missing something. It's just missing that thrill. It's missing that edge and that grittiness. And I think that pretty much she's capable of making like up tempo records. She, you know, she's capable of making like records that just, it does have that spark, but it's just missing a little bit of like that umph. So I think that. You know, like I said, she's a dope artist. You know, she's doing her thing. So I like to see her do well and have longevity, you know, in her music career. So I like the fact that she does have her own vibe and her own lane. And, you know, she does remind me a little bit of, like, like other female artists, too. But I also, as I always say, I like people, you know, being themselves. And I know people are going to get compared. And I know artists are going to get compared by other artists. But I like the fact that for her, you know, she's coming to her own and that's a great thing. Um, I think the record, you know, for One Night is pretty much like, you know, that overall, like that appeal. And, and I think with this record, she is like, you know, gearing towards like that mainstream appeal. That's just my opinion. But I can hear like a little bit of today's music in this record because even today's music now is kind of like that slow, mid-tempo you know, kind of a little bit of like that slow and a little bit and like that fast pace. But overall, the record is dope for what it is. Um, I look forward to listening to um, Anaya's music. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Um, and I think, like I said, Wiz Khalifa, he did his thing on this record. You know, and it is what it is. So I love it. So yeah, guys, any Anaya's fans out here, any Wiz Khalifa? Khalifa fans out here let me know down below also she does have like that edginess and that appeal and that badass appeal so I like that too I like how she has like her eccentric a little bit of like that you know swag and you know like that very cool charisma so I really like that 
um but overall the record is really dope i like it so yeah um so what do you guys think about this record anaya's one night featuring with khalifa let me know down below how you guys really feel don't be afraid to have different opinions on here because like i said i'm a music critic but i try to be fair and not be biased because you know i'm listening to different artists too so yeah so don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button don't be afraid to hit that like button that notification bell um don't be afraid to like comment share subscribe down below and as always stay tuned the next episode gives since 92 dragon ball z narrator reference peace bye bye